everybody i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to do all of these four different super super cute valentine's nail designs i really think that they turned out so so beautiful and i really love it so i hope you guys like it um so let's get into it so right here i'm showing you guys my new practice hand i absolutely love it i got it from nail supply glamour and i think it was about 60 to 70 dollars but it's so so amazing and i really really love the quality of it um so i got these nail tips from aliexpress and i'm gonna link them down below for you guys as well as everything else that i use in this video but I was just sizing them right here, trying to see which ones fit best. I really like that you can just slide the little finger, um, like the nail tip inside the finger. And you can just pull it out whenever you want to do another design. So I really, really love that. And I've never had one of these realistic practice hands before. So I was super excited to try it out. And right now on camera is actually my first time ever using it. So yeah, I'm really excited. And I noticed that the little tips weren't really sticking that well to the finger um they were kind of lifting up so i do grab some kds nail glue and i kind of put a little tiny dot underneath you're gonna see that in a second but i do do that just so that they can stick a little bit better and it did actually end up working out perfectly because towards the end when i had to take the actual fingertips out or the nail tips i actually took them out really easily and they didn't stick they didn't damage the practice hand at all so i think the kds nail glue is sensitive enough that it'll work perfectly for that so I do love that and it, they did stick on pretty well throughout the video I didn't have them fall out or pop off at all which is what I wanted so I absolutely love that um so yeah I'm definitely gonna link this hand down below the nail tips that I got from AliExpress they also have some on Amazon I'll link both versions just because I've tried both and they are pretty similar I think they're like exactly the same so I love that and you can also use these tips for acrylic in case you um, are a beginner and you didn't know. So I do love these using them for acrylic too because you can use them and they're pretty long which I love. So right here I'm just going to cut my nail tips to size. I'm just using some little scissors that I also got from Amazon. And I honestly wanted these to be more of like a tapered square type of nail vibe. So I think I did get that but I do go in and shape them a little bit more right now. Um and yeah right here i didn't notice in the beginning but i did notice that the ring finger is a little bit longer than the pointer so i do go back in a little bit and cut it down a little tiny bit more so now i'm just going to take my 100 100 grit nail file and i'm going to file the sides <laughs> Right here I'm just taking my nail drill and my mandrel drill bit with my sanding band and I'm going to be going over the nails and kind of just buffing them out. Um, I am going to just be going in with gel polish on top of these but if I was to do acrylic nails this is exactly the same process that I do. I'll glue the tips on and then I'll go in with my sanding band and smooth everything out. Um, so yeah I kind of wanted to like mimic, mimic, mimic that a little bit and I did also um, want to let you guys know that I do want I do plan to do some acrylic tutorials with this practice hand just because I really love it um so yeah <laughs>
one thing I did want to say about this practice hand, to be honest, that kind of bugged me was that every single thing sticks to it. So you're going to notice here I'm cleaning it with a little lymphy wipe and some alcohol just because it's getting the dust all stuck on the fingers. But like, I mean stuck, like I can't just take um, like a little dusting brush and dust the dust off. It's completely stuck on there. So that's the only thing that I didn't like because any type of little lint or like fuzz will also stick to it, which kind of sucks. So do keep that in mind if you're planning on getting it. But this is what the shape turned out like. It's really, really nice. And I absolutely love it. I did end up getting more of like a tapered square look which I wanted. So yeah, I'm going to go in with a little more alcohol just to make sure everything's nice and clean. And then I'm going to move on to my gel polish application. So right here, I'm going to start with a pinky and I'm going to be using this color from iGel Beauty. Um, I am going to go in with this super cute design that I've actually done before on myself. And I actually did it with a different color. It's on my Instagram a few months back. But I'm going to be doing some cute little strawberries and I feel like it's just so, so cute. It is um kind of like a Valentine's vibe because if you think about it, I feel like chocolate covered strawberries are really popular on Valentine's Day. So I don't know. I just thought it would be cute. Um, You could also do cherries if you like cherries. That'd be super cute too. I was going to do like some cherries that are like heart shaped and that would have been so cute. Like if you want to do that, or if you want a tutorial, feel free to let me know because I feel like I would love to do that. So I just wanted to do strawberries for this one and I'm going in with that color kind of cleaning around the edges just like I would if I was doing it on a real client and um, making sure everything's really nice and smooth and then I'm going to go ahead and cure this in the lamp for 60 seconds. So now after that's cured I'm going to go ahead and use this color right here raspberry from D&D and I'm going to be going in with my small dotting tool and I'm going to do some little kind of triangle shapes basically like little strawberries um you're gonna see how i do it here in the in the video but basically it's so so easy i think this is a design that literally anybody can do it requires no skill as far as like drawing you don't need to feel scared to do this because it's super super easy um and i feel like it's very beginner friendly for sure so i really really love it and i do also love this red gel polish it's so nice and it is more of like a sheerish type of red so it's not like super super thick and I actually love that so yeah and right here I was just kind of fixing it and it's okay to mess up because it's still gonna look cute in the end especially when you add all the details so right here I'm gonna go in with some green gel polish and I'm just gonna be going in with a little um brush and i'm going to be drawing the little leaves it's honestly the way i'm doing it is just three little lines so like one two three you kind of saw that right there and then one two three again so that's the way that i do it one two three so like one on the left one in the middle and like one on the right and i feel like it looks so so cute it just adds a little bit of detail to your strawberries and it makes all the difference and for this you can honestly use any type of green gel you have it could even be a normal um polish it doesn't even need to be a gel if you're going to use a normal polish just make sure that it is completely dry before you apply a gel top coat if that's what you're going to apply and i'm using the little um flashy lamp which is like a mini led uv lamp and i'm just going to dry that i'm going to use this for the rest of the video to just dry any small details and when i do like the background painting of the nail i'm going to go in and use my big lamp right there i was just showing my small little dotting tool that i'm going to try to use for my um, little seeds I guess you can say and I do think this looks cute but I honestly didn't end up liking how it came out so I do go back and wipe it off and then I just use a really 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 thin little um, detail brush and then I go in and draw the little seeds I feel like it looks much more realistic I guess you can say I mean I know they don't look realistic but like I don't know how to explain it hopefully you know what I mean but it, they just look more realistic if you um make the little dots at least a little bit smaller and it makes it look more like a strawberry which i like and yeah
once you're done with the strawberries you could honestly leave it like that it looks so so cute but I'm super extra so I just wanted to add a little bit of rhinestones just because I wanted it to be a little bit more sparkly and kind of more girly so I did add some Zule's nail shop bling adhesive and I'm gonna link that down below if you were interested in trying it it's my favorite rhinestone um glue so yeah I ended up adding a little bit with my dotting tool and I'm going to go in with a few crystals and I'm just going to add them to some of the pink um, background on the nail. And now I'm just going to be taking my Eye Gel Beauty No Cleanse Taco and I'm going to be going over the whole entire nail. And because these rhinestones are so, so tiny, I don't mind going over them with a top coat. Um, especially because this is just a practice hand, so I'm not being too careful, but it's all up to you. But I did go over them, and it doesn't really matter just because they still stayed super shiny and they still look cute. So now once that nail is finished, I'm going to be going in with the next one. And this is going to be a super cute Valentine's Day um, sweater nail type of design. And I'm going to be going back in with that red gel polish that I used for the strawberries. It's called Raspberry one more time from D&D. &D. And I show it one more time. And it's just um, a super pretty red. You're going to see here how beautiful it really is. And I'm trying to do this really carefully because I'm trying not to get it on the practice hand itself. And I'm going to do two coats of this and make sure um, that I dry it in between each coat. So now once that nail is all clean and I wiped it down with some alcohol to take off the sticky layer, I'm going to go in with my Koopa matte top coat. This is my favorite top coat of all time. It's just really, really nice and matte and I really love it. And I'm going to be going in with one coat of this over the red gel. So this is what the matte red looks like and I'm going to take my tiny little dotting tool and I'm just going to draw small little hearts all over the nail and you can pretty much draw these little hearts wherever you would like but I'm just doing it um, in random places and it's just going to be using the same exact red color that I used as the base and I really really love it because after this I'm going to pour the acrylic powder on top and it's going to make the sweater effect. So once you have your design the way you like it, um, you can just take the clear acrylic powder right here. I'm using just the Mia Secret Clear. It's my favorite clear powder and it's what I use for all my acrylic nail sets as well. And I'm just going to be dumping it on the whole entire nail. What I noticed is that sometimes if my gel polish goes on too thick like the design, um, I do have to add more acrylic powder. So I just add as much as I think I'll need and then at the end, um, once I have enough, I go in with my lamp right here I'm using the mini one but if you're doing a normal set just stick your hand in the lamp and it's gonna dry with the acrylic powder on it and then after you're done you just take a little dust brush and dust everything off and it's gonna, it's gonna look super cute as you could see here so now for this middle nail this nail was actually my favorite that I did out of all of them and this one just came out so beautiful like I just absolutely love it um, I'm going to start off by going in with this color by D&D DC. It's actually more of like a creamy white color when you buy it out of the bottle like that. Um, you're going to see in a second, I think I bring it out right here. Yeah, so basically that's the color. Um, it's called Seashell and it actually when you buy it, it's just like a creamy white. And all I did was add a pink gel polish 
in there. So basically instead of making it white, it tur I turned it into like a baby pink glitter instead of a white glitter like it originally came. And I just love it. So this is the color that I'm using. I technically custom mixed it. Um, but you could buy the D&D DC color and then just add in a baby pink, any normal baby pink gel polish, like a few drops and mix it all together. And it's just going to look so, so nice. So that's what I did for this. And I'm going to do two coats of this on the nail. So now for one of my favorite parts, I'm going in with some white gel polish. I just stick it on my nail and kind of use my nails as like a palette because it's just easy to grab the polish. But I grab a super old like kind of like raggedy brush it could be any brush that you have as long as it's super old so that the um, bristles are kind of leafing off in various directions just so that um, the brush gives you like more dimension I guess you could say and naturally creates like a super cute cloud effect so as you can see I barely even need to try like you literally just tap it on if you're using an old brush it's just the best so I absolutely love it and that's one of the old brushes that I actually um, usually used to clean up around the cuticle. Um, you saw me use a new one earlier when I was doing the gel polish on the pinky but I use new ones to clean it and eventually they do get old and I still keep them because they're perfect for hand painting designs. So next what I'm doing is taking my small dotting tool again and I'm going in with lots of random dots all over the nail um you can kind of place them wherever you want there's no specific pattern or anything like that I just like to place them kind of like on each side of the nail and then I'm taking my super super thin detailing brush that I actually cut myself and I'm gonna kind of just get the polish from the middle little dot and drag it out so that it creates this super cute little star <laughs> So now I'm going to be taking three different shades of pink, the one that I used for the background, a regular Barbie pink, and then the one I just showed you guys that's called Bubble Bath by D&D. &D. And I'm going to be drawing little hearts. I'm kind of trying to mix all three colors together because I don't want it to be just one like super bright pink. I'm kind of just extra and I wanted it to be different, but I do end up going in with more of the bright pink at the end. So either way, um, you can just use any Barbie pink color that you have or any color that you would like, honestly. I feel like this would also look cute with like a blue or something. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be taking my little brush and just drawing little hearts. I think I do three little hearts and I absolutely love it. It looks super cute. And then at the end, I'm just going to add in some small little details with the white that I also have. Um, on my nail.
So now for the last nail, I'm going to be going back in with that pink color that I used on the pinky. And I'm going to be just using that as the whole entire base color. And I do go in with two coats of this. And I'm going to be um, doing a design that I kind of freestyle. But at the same time, I did get inspo from um, this creator that I saw on Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and put their name right here on the bottom. It's just a super cool design. And I don't replicate it exactly. I kind of make it my own. But I do still um, love it. And I did get inspo from it. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that. So right here, I'm just, just going to go in with that same Barbie pink color that I had used on the other nail. And I'm going to be drawing a little heart. Um, you can draw honestly draw the heart however you want. You can draw like a cute little like funky heart where it's like going to the side. A kind of like differently shaped one because we're going to do a bunch of outlines of other colors hearts on the outside. If that makes sense. So um, yeah, I'm going to start with this color. So right here I'm just fixing a little mistake that I saw and um, then I'm going to be going in with a lighter pink and then I'm also going to be going back in with that little glittery pink that I told you guys that I made myself and I'm going to kind of just be going in and tracing it all around the heart. You can do this in any color that you would like and even if it wasn't Valentine's Day I feel like this design super cute. I've done this kind of design before. It's like kind of similar but I've done it for some... Powerpuff Girl inspired nails and I feel like that also looks super cute so you can honestly do these designs for any time of year not just Valentine's Day which is what I love and now for right here I'm gonna kind of do something different I'm literally just doing like a swiggle it's kind of inspired by the inspo pick but like at the same time I did it kind of different so basically I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna do all kinds of different colors next to it I'm gonna do the Barbie pink and then go back in with some red and then more Barbie pink and more glitter and then I'm going to just kind of like mix them all together, almost like a marble type of vibe. I'm just going to let you guys watch so you can see what I mean because I can't really explain it. So that's it for this video. I really, really hope you guys liked it. I absolutely loved making these nails. They were so fun. Let me know if there's anything else you guys would like to see or if there's anything you would like me to film. I'd be more than happy to make it for you guys. And let me know if there's any hand-painted nail designs that you guys would like. And I really, really want to start using this hand more. So I love you guys and thank you for all the support. And have a great day. Bye.